Thank you for joining me for this video importing data. For Clickware, I'm Bob Cusick. There's a couple of different ways that you can get data into FileMaker. And it depends whether you want to import data into your existing application or whether you just want to convert data that's in another format into its own FileMaker database. To start off, I have an Excel worksheet here that has a whole bunch of names and addresses in it. Now this can come from any source. Maybe it came from your online shopping cart, or maybe it's just a data dump from your main online ERP system. But regardless of the way that the data gets in here, we're going to start with this Excel spreadsheet, and then I'll show you how to get this data into FileMaker. The first way that we're going to get it into FileMaker is simply by opening it up and having FileMaker create the database for us. To do that, we go to the File menu and choose Open. Down here at the bottom of the dialog is a show filter that will filter out the kinds of available files that are available to import. So as you can see, FileMaker can open up a wide variety of different files. I'm going to choose all available files and my names to import Excel document. So I'm going to click on it and click open. And now I have some first row options. In my particular worksheet, the first row contains the field names. So FileMaker will automatically create fields and name them the same things as they are in the spreadsheet. So click OK to continue. Next we'll go ahead and give the file a name and where to save it on disk and click Save. And now FileMaker here has created a whole new database for me with all of the column names the same as they are in my worksheet and all 501 data records. Now this is being viewed in table view. I can also view it in list view and I can also view it in form view where just one record shows at a time. The other way to do it is to import the data into your existing application. And that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to come up here to the file menu, choose import records, and I can import it from a file. And again, in the show menu, I'm going to go ahead and choose all available. If you're regularly importing the same file over and over again, maybe you have a nightly update file, then you can choose to check the box that says set up as automatic recurring import. And what will happen is every time you open up that file and you navigate to that layout, FileMaker will try to automatically import the data for you. In this case, we're going to do a one-time import. So I'm just going to say use this file. Go ahead and open it. Now what we see here is we see the import field mapping where on the left hand side we have the source fields, on the right hand side we have all of the column names in the table that we're currently looking at. Now your FileMaker file may contain more than one actual table or database to store all of the information in. So before you import, make sure that you are going to navigate to a layout based on the table that you want to import into before you choose import. So we've done that, and now all of the information is going to come into our contact management table, just like we want it to. The next thing that we need to do is line up the fields, or map the fields, so that the first name does not go into the last name column, but it goes into the first name column. The company goes into the company, address goes into street, city goes into city, there is no county, the state will go into state province 1, the zip goes into postal code 1, phone, one, phone two, email, and website. So right now, the fax, the email, and the web will not be imported because their symbol looks like those two dots. If we click that symbol and it turns into an arrow, that data will be imported. And that's what we want to do. Once you have your field mapping all set up, you can go ahead and actually scroll through some of the data to make sure that the data is going to come into the correct fields. In our case, it looks pretty good. Next are the import actions, where we can add new records, we can update the existing records in the found set, or we can update matching records in the found set. So updating existing records in the found set means that it will try to find in that Excel file all of the data that I currently have in my found set and just update those records. Update the matching records in the found set 
will do the same thing as update existing records, except what it will do is if there's no matching record already in my database, I have the option to say add remaining data as new records. In our case, because my database only contains one record, we're going to go ahead and add new records. And we're also going to say to not import the first record because the first record contains the field names. Once that's all set, we're going to say import. And then we're presented with import options, perform auto enter options while importing. Many FileMaker databases are written so that they have auto incrementing serial numbers, they have auto enter of the creation date or modification date. And if you don't check this box, those values will not be automatically entered for all of the records that get imported. So unless you're told otherwise, it's generally a really good idea to check that box. Now we'll go ahead and click Import. So FileMaker now tells us that it went ahead and added 501 new records. So thank you. There was no errors. There was no records skipped. And here we have 502 records where we had 501 before. We can click the pie and show all of the data that we had in our database before the import and all of the data that was imported. And here we'll just do a show all. Now on the very first record that got imported, you'll see that it's a duplicate of this data that's already in the database. So my record that I put in my first record actually has more information than the second record, and it's actually a duplicate. So you can find for duplicates by going into find mode, and you would use the operators, and you can do an exclamation point will find duplicates. So I want to find duplicates where the first name and last name are the same, and I should only find one. So let's perform that. And sure enough, there are two records in my found set, the one that I put in there and then the duplicate one that was imported. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this duplicate one by choosing Control E or by going to the records menu and saying delete record. Now remember you may or may not be able to delete records based on the permissions that you have when you log into your file. So I have permissions so I'm going to delete that record. So now I have my 501 records. We can show them all here. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how to use the other import options. So we're going to go back to the file menu. I'm going to choose import records again from the same file, names to import, and we're going to say open. And this time what we're going to do rather than importing the data into our target one, you can actually create a new table named names to import and it will simply create a new database table for you within your current FileMaker solution and it will import all of that data into the new table. You can also go ahead and modify the structure of the database again if you have permissions. So in our import we have the county field and there's no matching field in our existing database to capture that county information. So what you can do here is you can go to manage database and this will open up the Manage Database dialog box. And we're in the table called Contact Management. And I can create a new field now called County. It's going to be a text field. And I'm going to click OK. And now what I can do, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I'll see that my County field has been added. And I'm going to scroll up here all the way to the top. I'm going to put in county right here and I'm going to say yes, go ahead and do the import. Now I don't want 501 duplicates because we already imported all of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say update existing records in the found set. So by updating the existing records in the found set, I will be adding that county information now to all of my imported records. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, I want to perform the auto enter and it added 501. Now if I add that field to my form, again I have full permission on this file. So if I go to the layout and I say I want to add this field and I'm going to choose that new county field and we'll exit the layout. My record doesn't have one but all of the other ones now have the county. As you can see, it's very easy to get information that's stored outside of FileMaker into FileMaker, either into your existing solution or as a brand new database. Thanks for watching.